risk is the positive or negative uncertainty of a potential outcome. In other words, risk is the difference between the best and worst case scenarios. All risks have the potential to impact both cost and time. Risk management methodology follows strict and universal rules, which I'm not going to read from the screen now, but I encourage everyone to pause the video and make a note of these. Important points to remember are necessity to make risk management an integral part of the project. Early identification of risk is the key to successful mitigation measures and everybody can identify risk or opportunity. In Synchro we can define and classify risks in Navigator window and the Risks tab. Predefined risks we can assign to task in Task Properties window and the Risk section. Here we can also change attributes of risks, change the type or assign potential cost. We need to identify and classify risks before assigning them to tasks. Right click on blank space and add command will create level 1 risk category. I will add several categories and also prefix them so they are sorted alphabetically. Once risk categories are created, we can add specific risks. To do so, we need to right click on the category name and choose the command add to create specific risks. Newly created risk will be automatically added to the selected category. We can identify risk at any stage of the project. Each risk can be defined as fixed duration of task or percentage of the duration of task. This can also be changed later. In this section, I will show how to assign identify risk to task. I've added two additional columns in task view to see which task is the risk buffer and to check the risk type for each task. Assigning risk to task is a straightforward operation. We can either do this by right click on the risk and choose the command assign to selected task. Or simply use drag and drop. We can add the same risk to many tasks. Once the risk is assigned to task, we can change the risk type between subtractive or additive. Additive risk will increase the original duration of task. We can also define probability of risk between high, medium and low. High for most likely, medium 50-50 and low for unlikely. When the risk is added, taskbar in a Gantt chart view is changing. Plus sign indicates additive risk and minus sign indicates subtractive risk. Additive risk will simply increase the duration of task and a subtractive risk will always be included in the original duration of task. We need to reschedule our program to see the impact from the assigned risks. Buffering risks is a technique which allows to move identified risks to specially designated task or group of tasks if we want to keep the logic and duration attached. This will simply move all risks to the task which acts as a buffer, usually at the end of the logic chain. This way we can keep the original program logic and accumulate identified risk in one place. That kind of buffer is sometimes called time risk allowance 
and is often placed between planned and target completion milestones. First, we need to create or designate one task to act as a buffer. From already identified risks, we can select the ones which we want to buffer. We can do so by changing the attribute from unmitigated to buffered. Then we need to select our buffer from the list. Identify risks are now accumulated at the end of the logic chain and the original logic of the program is untouched. Once again, we need to remember to reschedule our program after each change. We can change colors of risk buffers and risk indicators in synchro options. As mentioned before, risk can affect both time and cost. We can add cost to each identified risk. To do so, we need to go back to our identified risks select the risk and simply add the cost the same way as we add the cost to resource assignments. The risk cost is a new category of cost added to the task. We can find all added costs in task properties window. Risk register is another way to find all the risk assigned to tasks in our schedule. We can find risk register under the risk tab in navigator window. Here we can find a list of identified risks and selecting them will automatically guide us to the associated tasks.